Ever been stuck on the side of the road with a flat tire, wishing you had paid more attention to those car maintenance classes? Welcome to the world of do-it-yourself car maintenance, where understanding your vehicle isn't just about independence, it's about empowerment. Imagine a world where inconvenient breakdowns and costly repairs are a thing of the past. Today, we're taking the mystery out of the mechanics and putting the power in your hands. By the end of this video, you'll be your own roadside hero. So buckle up and let's get started. First things first, the lifeblood of your car, the oil. Think of your car as an athlete. Just as an athlete needs blood to perform, your car needs oil. It's the lubricant that keeps your engine running smoothly, prevents overheating and reduces wear and tear. Neglecting your car's oil can be compared to skipping meals and workouts. It's a fast track to poor performance and eventual breakdown. Now, how do you check this life-sustaining liquid? Enter the dipstick, your trusty tool for this task. It's like your car's own personal doctor giving you a quick health check. It's usually located near the engine and it looks like a metal rod with a loop or a handle at the end. Pull it out, wipe it clean, then reinsert it fully. Pull it out again and voila, you've got your oil levels. Now, what are you looking at exactly? You should see two marks on the dipstick. The lower one signifies low and the upper one signifies full. If the oil level is between these two marks, you're in the clear. If it's below the lower mark, it's time for a top-up. But wait, there's more to it than just levels. You also need to inspect the oil's color and consistency. Fresh oil is amber in color and flows like water, while old oil may be black and sludgy. If your oil looks more like a Halloween horror show than a summer sunrise, it's time for a change. And speaking of change, how often should you do it? Well, it's like asking how often should you visit the dentist? Most experts agree that every three to six months or three to 5,000 miles, whichever comes first, is a good rule of thumb. However, always refer to your car's manual for the best advice. Remember, oil is the elixir of your car's life. Keep it clean and full, and your car will thank you with a longer lifespan. Next up, we're talking tires, those four round things that keep you moving. Let's start with tire pressure. Think of it as the huff and puff that keeps your tires rolling. Too much puff and your tires might pop. Too little huff, and you're in for a bumpy ride. Regularly checking your tire pressure is as important as remembering your mother's birthday. But how do we do it? Well, you'll need a little gadget called a tire pressure gauge. It's a tiny tool that's as easy to use as applying mascara. You simply remove the cap from your tire's valve, attach the gauge, and presto. The gauge will show you the pressure. Now you may be wondering, what's the correct tire pressure for my vehicle? Good question. You'll find this golden nugget of information in your vehicle's manual or on a sticker usually located on the driver's side door jamb. Moving on, let's talk about tire tread depth. Consider it like the grooves on the sole of your running shoes. The deeper the grooves, the better the grip. To check the tread depth, all you need is a penny. Yes, you heard it right, a penny. Insert the penny into your tire's tread with Lincoln's head upside down. If you can see all of Lincoln's head, it's time for a new set of tires. If part of his head is covered, your tires are still in the game. Remember, tires are like the shoes of your car. They need to be in the right shape to keep you moving smoothly and safely. If your tires are underinflated, overinflated, or worn out, it can affect your car's performance and even your safety. Oh, and one more thing. Just like you wouldn't wear flip-flops in the snow, your car needs the right tires for the right conditions. So whether it's all season, summer, or winter tires, make sure your car is wearing the right pair. Just like a good pair of shoes, your tires need to be in tip-top shape to get you where you're going, so keep them well-maintained and they'll keep you rolling. Let's move on to the heart of your car, the battery. This little box of power is what gets your engine started and keeps all your car's electrical systems running smoothly. Without a healthy battery, your car simply won't start. So how can you tell if your battery is on its last legs? Well, if your engine is slow to start, your headlights are dim, or your car's electrical components are acting up, these are signs that your battery may be dying. But don't worry, you can give your battery a longer life by regularly cleaning the battery terminals. Over time, corrosion can build up on the terminals, which can lead to poor electrical connections. Cleaning them is easy. Just disconnect the battery cables, clean the terminals using a simple paste of baking soda and water, then rinse with clean water and dry with a cloth. And what if your battery does die? That's where jumper cables come in. These are your lifeline when your battery needs a jump start. Just connect the red positive cable to the positive terminal on both batteries and the black negative cable to the negative terminal on the good battery and to an unpainted metal part on the dead car. 
Start the good car, wait a few minutes, then try to start the dead car. Your car's battery is its heartbeat, so keep it healthy and your car will keep going and going. Now let's talk about something often overlooked, the windshield wipers. These unsung heroes of the road are actually essential for safe driving. When it's raining cats and dogs, or there's snow falling faster than the final season of your favorite show, your windshield wipers are what keep your view clear and your journey safe. So when do these wipers need a replacement? It's not rocket science, really. When you notice streaks on the windshield during a rain, or your wipers are making that annoying squeaky noise, it's time to give them a makeover. Now how to replace them? It's as easy as making your favorite sandwich. First, lift the wiper arm away from the windshield. You'll notice a small tab on the underside of the wiper. Push this tab to remove the old wiper blade. Next, take the new wiper blade and attach it to the arm. You'll hear a clicking sound when it locks into place. Gently lower the arm back onto the windshield, and voila! You've just replaced your wiper blades. Remember, sizes of wiper blades vary from car to car, so always check your vehicle's manual or consult with your local auto parts store to make sure you get the right ones. Windshield wipers might seem insignificant, but clear visibility is key to safe driving, so keep them in top condition. All right, we've covered a lot, so let's do a quick recap. This is just like revisiting the last few pages of a great novel, to make sure we've not missed any important details. Firstly, we dived into the world of oil checks and changes. Remember, oil is the lifeblood of your engine. Its primary role is to lubricate the engine parts, reduce heat, and clean debris. Just like you wouldn't skip your vitamin supplements, your car shouldn't skip its oil change. The golden rule here is to check your oil level every month and change it every 3,000 to 5,000 miles. Next, we rolled onto tire maintenance. Your tires are your car's shoes, and just like you wouldn't want to walk around in worn-out shoes, your car doesn't either. Regularly check your tire pressure and tread depth to ensure a safe and smooth ride. Rotate your tires every 6,000 to 8,000 miles to prolong their life. And remember the penny trick to check tread depth? If you can see all of Lincoln's head, it's time for new shoes. I mean tires. Then we charged into the basics of car batteries. Your car's battery is like its heart, pumping energy to every part. It's vital to keep it healthy. If you notice any corrosion on the battery terminals, clean it off with a mixture of baking soda and water. And don't forget, car batteries typically need to be replaced every three to five years. Lastly, we swiped through the process of changing windshield wipers. Your wipers are your car's eyelashes, protecting your view from the elements. If they start to streak, it's time to replace them. And with the simple steps we've shown, you can do it yourself in a snap. By mastering these basics, you're not just maintaining your car, you're also saving money, preventing breakdowns, and most importantly, you are ensuring your safety on the road. Remember, when it comes to car maintenance, knowledge is power. But let me add something to that. It's not just power, it's empowerment. It's the confidence of knowing you can handle whatever the road throws at you. So here's to you ladies, you've got this. Drive safe and stay empowered. Because every journey is an adventure, and every adventure is a story waiting to be told. And you, my dear, are the author of your story. So write it well.